Hey everyone, hope all is well. Look on the screen, look on the screen. Jermaine Lavonda Bass. This will be part A, the news clip. Please stick around for part B where we will have the commentary. He is on the screen for a reason. I just, um, I guess I, I, I just can't make sense of it. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and look at this news clip and then we'll continue with part B, the commentary. Helping this afternoon, a truly horrific story. Deputies say a mother kissed her kids goodnight and just seconds later heard gunshots. Officials say the father shot them, killing one of them. When deputies arrived, he told them it was an accident. But as Fox 13's Elizabeth Fry yeah, reports, right. investigators disagree. A heartbreaking story in Hillsborough County as a five-year-old little girl is now dead and an eight-year-old little boy is now fighting for his life after their own father turned a gun on them late last night. Hillsborough County Sheriff Chad Cronister says it all happened at the Armature Gate townhomes in North Tampa late Monday evening. He said around 1030, a mother returned home to say goodnight to her two children, a five-year-old little girl and an eight-year-old little boy. He said she kissed them both goodnight and went to use the bathroom. That's when she heard gunshots ring out. She told detectives the gunshots sounded close so she ran outside to figure out what was going on her neighbor had already called 911 that's when her husband ran outside holding their eight-year-old son in his arms telling them to call for help when law enforcement arrived on scene the little boy was transported to tampa general hospital they asked the father if anyone else was inside that's when they also found the five-year-old little girl the husband says my 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 five-year-old daughter's upstairs sleeping deputies go upstairs only to make the gruesome discovery that there's a five-year-old laying in a top bunk, laying in a pool of her own blood. Um, she is shot two to three times in her head. Now, both children were shot in the head two to three times. The father, Jermaine Lavonda Bass, offering no explanation except saying that he had accidentally shot his son. He's currently facing several charges, including first-degree murder and attempted first-degree murder. Sheriff Cronister says HCSO had never been called out to this address in the past, and Bass had no prior criminal history. Now, as for that eight-year-old little boy, we're told he underwent surgery last night after arriving at the hospital. Like I said, he had been shot two to three times in the head, and today he's still fighting for his life okay everybody so that's one video and if you will let's take a look at this other video this news clip of the briefing the father of course he is in custody but i just want you to hear what the sheriff had to say it it's 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 beyond words i unreal so again, this will be part A. Next will be part B, the commentary. Good morning, everyone. This is a case that is not only tragic, but extremely disturbing. Around 10.30 p.m. last evening, a mother's out for dinner and is making every effort she can to get home before her children go to sleep. So she arrives at the house and goes upstairs to say goodnight to her five-year-old daughter who sleeps in the top bunk and her eight-year-old son who sleeps in the bottom bunk. Um, when she goes and kisses both of them goodnight, the, her five-year-old daughter even giggles because she was trying to act like she was already asleep. So she kisses both her children asleep, leaves them there with the children's father, her husband, and runs to the restroom because she has to go to the bathroom. While she's going to the bathroom, she hears several gunshots. She initially believed that the gunshots happened right outside her residence, but then sometime uh, shortly thereafter said these gunshots were too close. Fearing for her own life, she runs outside. When she runs outside, she encounters her next door neighbor. He had already made a frantic 911 call to our communication center saying that he heard several gunshots. She takes over the phone call and starts talking to our 911 dispatcher. As that phone call is occurring, the husband, the children's father, walks outside carrying the eight-year-old son, saying, call for help, call for help, call for help. Our deputies and Hillsborough County Fire Rescue rush to the scene and, and are there a short time later. When our deputies initially arrive on scene, they see the father in the family room cradling the eight-year-old son 
saying it was an accident. They were like, sir, what do you mean it was an accident? It was an accident. I don't know how the gun went off. I accidentally shot my son. Fire rescue gets there and does a wonderful job of initiating every life-saving measure that they can think of to prepare this child to be transported to Tampa General Hospital. The detectives on scene then say, is there anyone else inside the residence? Is there anyone else here? They said, he, the husband says, my, my, my five-year-old daughter's upstairs sleeping. Deputies go upstairs only to make the gruesome discovery that there's a five-year-old laying in a top bunk, laying in a pool of her own blood. Um, she is shot two to three times in her head. The same injury that the eight-year-old had sustained and suffered from. Paramedics come upstairs, again, begin life-saving measures and rush both ch children to Tampa General Hospital. Our five-year-old victim has been pronounced deceased. Our eight-year-old is fighting for his life. He went to surgery uh, last evening and um, this morning um, is fighting for his life as the wonderful, wonderful doctors and staff at Tampa General Hospital are doing everything they can to, to save this young boy's life. This is a, a this is a case that, and an experience that no parent should have to live through and that no law enforcement officer or first responder should ever have to witness. Um, we as a sheriff's office are struggling today. Our, our detectives are, and deputies who are on scene are, are gonna need some help and we're bringing some counselors in to try to get them through this, this gruesome scene that they had to witness and detectives have to work through as they continue to put the pieces of the puzzle together here. Arrested is Jermaine LaVonda Bass. He's 30 years of age. His date of birth is 4-27-1992. He has been charged with first degree premeditated murder and first degree attempted premeditated murder and aggravated child abuse. I hope that this individual feels the full weight of the criminal justice system and never sees the light of day where he can ever be in a position to harm another human being. In Tampa Bay, we're, we're extremely privileged. We have so many wonderful resources. The spring of Tampa Bay, if anyone ever feels they may be a victim of family violence, pick up the phone and take advantage of such a wonderful resource. The same goes for the, the, the crisis center. It's a simple, is calling 988. That's that's as easy as it is to get the help that you may need, is to call 988. As deputies initially working through the call, and once they went upstairs and made the gruesome discovery that he had also shot his five-year-old daughter, they read him his Miranda rights, and he declined to make any further comment. Mm. I don't know why he did this. I don't know if we'll ever Sick. know. And he didn't make any further comments except the fact when we encountered the eight year old son and he said that um, uh, it was an accident that he accidentally shot his son. But you don't accidentally shoot your children three to four times in the head. I'm trying to take any questions I can at this time. Have there been any other calls to service at the Yeah, great question. Uh, no calls for service at this residence and and the uh, Jermaine Bass, we uh, we find no criminal history on him. Just hadn't got a call to yet. Yeah, um, from not that we know at this time. Uh, we continue to talk to her, as you can understand. She's been through something quite traumatic, uh, so we tread lightly as we're trying to have those conversations with her. But nothing that we know of now. But again, this is extremely preliminary. I, that could change as, as she starts to gather her thoughts. But nothing that we know of now. No indicators. Like I said, she kissed her children goodbye and went to use the restroom to go to bed herself. Okay, everybody. So this is going to be part A. Please stick around for part B, the commentary. This just should not be. Thanks for watching.